In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for K2Cr2O7 plus AgNO3. This is potassium dichromate plus silver nitrate. The first thing we need to do when we balance net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. And this is the molecular equation. I can see I have one potassium here and two here. Put a coefficient of two. Now I have two nitrates and only one here. So I'll put a two in front of the AgNO3. That balances our nitrates, two silvers, and then we have two silvers here. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. Potassium compounds are soluble. We're at AQ. It's going to dissolve in water. Nitrates are very soluble. Here we have another nitrate, so that is going to be soluble, dissociate into its ions. When we get to silver dichromate, silver is one you really need to watch for. In general, silver compounds aren't soluble, with a few exceptions like silver nitrate. If you look this up on a solubility table, you'll see it's insoluble. That means it's going to be a solid. It doesn't dissolve. So these react. This falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this is a precipitation reaction. We have solid silver dichromate. Next, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Potassium on the periodic table, that's in group 1, has a 1 plus. The whole dichromate is 2 minus, that whole ion. So we have two potassium ions. I won't write the charge right now. We'll write that at the end. Plus, I have the dichromate. Silver, that has a 1 plus ionic charge. The whole nitrate ion, 1 minus. So two silver ions. And then we have two nitrate ions as well. We have plus and minus, so we have two potassium ions plus two nitrate ions again. And then for net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart, so we just have silver dichromate. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out these spectator ions. They're on both sides. So when I look at the reactants here, I have two potassium ions, and then the products, two potassium ions. Those are spectator ions. I have two nitrates here in the reactants and two nitrates in the products. Get rid of the spectator ions. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for K2Cr2O7 plus AgNO3. I'll clean it up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for potassium dichromate plus silver nitrate. You'll notice charge is conserved. We have two minus here, two times one plus, that's two plus. So these balance out, give us zero. This is a neutral compound, net charge is zero. If you add the atoms up, they'll be the same as well. We sometimes see the positive ion written first in net ionic equations. It doesn't really matter. Maybe it looks a little bit nicer. And that's it. This is the net ionic equation for K2Cr2O7 plus AgNO3. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.